Hey everybody, it's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock, and tonight we're going through 20 facts for the upcoming Killer Clowns from Outer Space video game. I adore Halloween, and this movie in particular has become a favorite of mine due to the fact that it has great character design, it has an iconic soundtrack, and overall there's just tons of fun, silly, creative ideas in the movie. Seeing it become a multiplayer video game is very exciting. So let's talk about it. Here are 20 facts for Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the video game. Number one, while the game was scheduled to release in early 2023, it's currently March and we have yet to hear any updates. In fact, we've not even seen any gameplay yet. This leads me to believe that we're likely looking at a slight delay in its launch, but you know what? I am more than okay with this because I would much rather the team take their time and give us a great well-tested experience. Nobody really needs a glitchy, unfinished game with barely any content at launch. We've seen far too much of that this generation. So hey, you know what? Let's allow the clowns to take their time, and I'm sure they will be more than happy to kill us all when the time is right at some point this year. Number two, this game is an asymmetrical multiplayer experience. That means three players will take on the role of the killer clowns from outer space, who are seeking world domination, of course, and the other seven players are the human characters that are fighting for their lives and to stop the alien invasion. Number three, according to their website, the general rules of gameplay are that the clowns will win by capturing most or all of the human citizens, while the humans will win by either deactivating the clown's big top spaceship, escaping the map before time runs out, or keeping the majority of the townsfolk alive for the entire round. Number four, there are five classes of clowns to choose from, each one of course based on a character from the classic 1980s film. First up is Jumbo. This guy has a special ability to use a big giant clown mallet to smash you with. He can also entrance you to come towards him with his finger lure move, taken directly from the movie. This clown's weapon is a pentashot blaster that kind of feels like a shotgun, and it can hit up to five targets at once. Number five, another playable clown is Shorty, who has fighter-like abilities. He can even knock a player out with one giant punch using his boxing gloves. This guy can even ride on his tricycle to run you down and has the option to pop out of a pizza box. His weapon of choice is the Cotton Candy C4 Launcher, which can hit a human from a long distance. Number six, Chubby the Clown is a big, fat tank. He's a beast. Uh, he can also actually use his girth to power smash through walls. There's even a cotton candy ground pound move that he uses to attack humans that are in close range. Chubby can also toss pies that incapacitate his foes when they make contact. Number seven, if you're a human trying to hide from the evil invaders, Spiky the Clown is going to be pretty terrifying. He's all about tracking you down with his not so friendly balloon dog that can sniff you out of hiding. He also has a popcorn bazooka, and if he hits you with it, the sweet smell of buttery popcorn will linger on you, allowing him to more easily see your location on the map. Spikey even has an invisible car he can drive to speed over to his victims more quickly. Number eight, our final playable clown is Rudy the Trapper. He's all about using traps more so than directly attacking the humans. He has a jack-in-the-box with one of the iconic clown snakes popping out of it, and he can set up popcorn landmines. The killer clowns have even more abilities expected to be revealed before launch, so they are definitely a viable threat. And if you're a fan of the classic movie, you probably definitely noticed a lot of these uh, weapons and a lot of their abilities are straight from the movie itself, which is pretty clever. I really like that. Number nine, a brand new type of clown found in the game are these lackeys. It would appear that the killer clowns can send them out to essentially patrol the map to locate humans and then alert the clowns of the humans' locations. They can also be used as an easier method to harvest cotton candy cocoons and bring them back to the circus tent spaceship. If you see these guys running around, you better stay quiet and not make much noise because that is exactly what they are attracted to. The lackeys are AI characters, and as the match progresses, more will keep popping up, so you gotta watch out for these guys. Number 10, the humans are not defenseless, of course, and they too have a nice variety of five classes to choose from. There's the bikers, which are a strong character, a bit louder, and also somewhat slower. 
The cops are great with guns, but they have a lower stamina and they can be a little more unlucky. The punks have a high stamina and are good with getting around obstacles, but they have to deal with a slower recovery. The rednecks have a larger inventory size. They can fix things, but they have uh, kind of poor observational skills. And finally, the teens are nimble and very stealthy, but they have a lower health and a smaller inventory space. So deciding which human characters you want to go with is key to victory. Number 11, the game will launch with one playable map set in Crescent Cove from the movie. It has a good variety of things to see though, everything from a carnival, a beach, forest areas, a biker bar, and even an arcade. While it's only one map, it definitely feels like it's going to be a decent enough size. Number 12, one of the interesting aspects to the level design in this game is that the map will randomly generate differently every time you play, so it's never going to be exactly the same. That means while the theme might be the same, the layout will always be different. Hopefully, that will keep things fresh even after many games. Number 13, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the video game, will be playable on Steam, Xbox X, and S, the Xbox One, as well as PlayStation 4 and 5. Number 14, the developer did confirm that the game will not be coming to Nintendo Switch. While the team says they love the Switch, the reason is pretty simple. The system is just not capable of properly running the title. Number 15, this game will focus on seasonal updates. That of course means that even after they launch, you can expect the developer to constantly be working hard on adding fresh new ideas. Personally, I'm kind of hoping for a really cool Halloween update. Number 16, you will be able to customize the clown's appearance a little bit. This means changing their hair color as well as the patterns on their clothing. Number 17, of course, you can also customize the human characters. In fact, each class has all sorts of variety to their designs. You can change their clothing, hair, their face design along with body type, and also their skin tone. Interestingly, you might want to hold back on looking a little bit too flashy because you'll be easier for the clowns to spot. The developers went the extra mile here because they have mentioned that all the styles used in this game are directly inspired from old 80s horror movies. So this game is super authentic and very much based in the 1980s. Number 18, the environments include a lot of objects that players can interact with and search for items inside. So there will be a whole bunch of items you can find hidden inside of things. Some of them may be helpful, but others just might help out the clowns with finding you. There's a little bit of maybe some risk reward going on there. Number 19, the film's composer John Masari is directly involved with creating the soundtrack for the video game. This means you can not only expect the classic sounds from the movie, but also some totally new Killer Clowns music, which is pretty cool. And finally, number 20, on the game's website, you can sign up for a beta test that would allow you to try out the game for free prior to its launch. The data collected from the test will of course be used to improve the final game when it launches later this year. So there you have it. 20 facts for Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the video game. I hope this video has kind of clarified some of the cool things you can expect from the title. And I hope you are as excited to experience the game as I am. Uh, I recently bought an expensive new PC. And while, you know, of course, there were many reasons for me to purchase this, uh, one of them was actually so that I could properly play this game in all of its glory. So I'm pretty excited. Stick around to the BitBlock for more coverage on the upcoming Killer Clowns from Outer Space video game.